Welcome to Animal Stories for Kids. If you like our stories, please give us a five-star rating, subscribe to our podcast, and share it with your friends and family. If you're listening on Spotify, you can support the podcast through listener support. Plus, check out exclusive show-related content and join the community at patreon.com slash animal stories for kids. And now, it's time for our story. Once upon a time, there was an Ayam Samani named Inda. Inda the Ayam Samani lived in a little village in a small family's chicken coop. But she was unlike the other chickens in the chicken coop. While the other chickens tended to their own activities, as usual, Inda was the kind of chicken that just put all that she had into her activities. While the other chickens would be standing around in one little area, pecking at whatever bugs walked by, Inda the Ayam Samani would walk around looking for insects, and she would peck at them with focus and keep on pecking at insects all around her. She was very passionate in everything she did. Eating was something Inda really loved to do. So every time it was time to eat, she would get so close to the owner and wait for the corn to be tossed onto the ground. And Inda the Ayam Simani would go at it, pecking and pecking and pecking all the corn on the ground. While the other chickens would just wait until the owner came by and spread out some corn around them. Inda didn't want to wait and just depend on the owner coming close to her, so she not only ate the corn that was by her feet, she walked around all over where the corn fell, and she would be on a mission just eating up the corn. When the corn was all eaten up, the other chickens would just stand around waiting for more food to just come right in front of them. But not Inda. Come on, everyone, Inda the Ayam Samadhi would say. Let's find some worms to eat now. She would bend down and start scratching the ground to find the juiciest worm to eat. She was so passionate about eating that when it was time to eat, she didn't want to think about anything else. She really loved to eat. And when it was time to take a break from the hot sun, Inda the Ayam Samani was passionate about relaxing too. While the other chickens went back into the coop to take a break from the sun, Inda couldn't really relax with the other chickens clucking and messing around in there. She wanted peace and quiet and a good shade. So Inda would be on a mission to find the best spot to relax and take a break. Even though the sun was hot and Inda took a little longer to find a spot, she wanted to have the best spot for herself to relax. And so she kept on walking around the chicken coop to find a good place to rest. And then she finally found a great shaded area under a tree and there weren't any other chickens around being all loud and messing around. Perfect, Inda the Ayam Samani would say. I'll just take a break from the sun under this big tree. And so Inda was able to sit and relax under the shade, taking a break from the hot sun. While the other chickens were content with taking a break in the chicken coop with all the other chickens messing around and being loud, Inda the Ayam Samani did everything she could to take a break away from all the craziness. Inda was very passionate about taking breaks. She was passionate about eating and passionate about taking breaks. But another thing she was very passionate about was playing. She played with the other chickens all the time. And when the chickens got too tired to play with her, she ended up playing with the bugs. And when the bugs were all tired of playing with her, she even played with the leaves that were blowing around in the wind. For Inda the Ayam Samani, when it was time to play, nothing could stop Inda from playing. When some of the other chickens didn't seem to play, Inda would just keep on asking until they finally said yes. And sometimes even the bugs that Inda played with didn't really want to play, but Inda would keep chasing them around and she would even play dead so some of the bugs would come onto her. And then when all the bugs were on her, she would flap her wings and get up from the ground and cluck really loud and begin to chase the bugs. It was really fun for Inda. 
On windy days, the leaves would be blowing around and Inda the Ayam Samani would say, Time to see how many leaves I can grab with my feet. And she would chase the leaves and try stomping on them. And all the other chickens would not understand how Inda would have so much energy and have so much fun from doing the silliest things. The other chickens just played peck the chicken and they would just peck at each other. But not Inda the Ayam Samani. She was passionate about playing. Inda was a passionate chicken, but there was one thing that she was the most passionate about, and that was not going to sleep for the night. One day, as the sun was starting to set, and the owner was out cleaning up around the chicken coop to get the chickens ready to sleep, Inda was playing around with the leaves again, hopping and grabbing the leaves with her beak and feet. When suddenly, all the chickens started to go in for the night. Inda the Ayam Samani saw that the sun was halfway past the hills, and it was definitely getting darker. The other chickens began to yawn and flutter into their cozy sleeping spots. But Inda the Ayam Samani, she had other plans. Oh no you don't, Inda, Inda said to herself while feeling a little tired. You are not going to sleep, not just yet. Inda began pacing back and forth, her eyes wide open and looking for another way to play around while all the other chickens were getting ready to sleep. She didn't want to go to sleep, not just yet. There was still so much to explore, so much to see, so much to do. But as the sun was going down, she knew her body would not allow her to keep playing for long. The owner knew this about Inda and just waited for her to calm down and come into the coop. But Inda kept on pecking at the ground, trying to stay awake. She tried everything to resist the urge to sleep. She flapped her wings. She clucked loudly. She even tried jumping so high that she was almost flipping over. But no matter how hard she tried, the night was calling her to rest, and her eyes were slowly starting to close on their own. Come on, Inda, said Inda to herself in a last attempt to keep herself awake. You can play a little more. While the other chickens were practically asleep, Inda kept trying to stay awake. She was passionate about not going to sleep. But as much as she tried to stay awake, her sleepiness got the best of her, and she ended up slowly walking back to the coop until Inda closed her eyes and slowly just sat down and kind of fell over gently on the ground, drifting off into dreamland, while her legs twitched and the stars began to appear in the evening sky. The owner picked up Inda the Ayam Samani and placed her in the chicken coop with the others and locked the gate for the night. The next day, late in the morning, while the sun was already getting high up into the sky and after all the other chickens were already out and enjoying their day, Inda finally opened her eyes and she asked, how did I get in here? Hmm, I must have walked with my eyes closed because all I remember was falling asleep outside on the ground. Inda didn't realize that her owner brought her in and that she had overslept through her normal wake-up time. In fact, it was already almost the middle of the day. Inda the Ayam Samani then stretched her wings and let out a happy cluck ready for the day ahead, whatever was left of it. When she went outside, the other chickens were already taking their break and going into the coop to relax. But Inda the Ayam Samani wasn't ready to take a break just yet. She just woke up, so she still had to eat. And so she did. After Inda ate, the chickens were starting to play. Inda the Ayam Samani wanted to play. She loved playing, but she needed to take a break first and relax under the shade. 
So she did that too. When Inda was done relaxing, she saw all the other chickens getting ready to go back in. And then she noticed the sun was already starting to set. She was late for everything because she didn't get to sleep on time. She wanted to play with the others, but they were all getting ready to sleep now. As the sun set, Inda was a bit lonely out there by herself. She had missed the whole day and couldn't eat, relax, or even play with the other chickens. And at that moment, Inda the Ayamsamani, although she wanted to play more, she also wanted to be with the other chickens. Even if they were loud and messing around all the time, she still wanted to be with them. At this point, Inda was anxious, and she was torn. Should she go in for the night and fall asleep on time with the other chickens? Or should she stay out and play for as long as she could, but risk the next day being the same as she experienced on this day? As Inda stood there by herself, watching all the chickens going in for the night, a firefly flew around her and gracefully danced around Inda the Ayamsamani. Inda was mesmerized by the firefly, and although she wanted to play more, she was actually drawn to the firefly's glow in the dim evening light. Actually, the glowing firefly calmed Inda down, and she suddenly didn't feel like playing anymore. The firefly flew toward the chicken coop, and Inda the Ayamsimani began to follow the glowing firefly. And the firefly led Inda straight into the chicken coop, where she was calm, and now her eyes were starting to feel heavier. And with this newfound sense of peace, Inda nestled herself amongst her fellow chickens, and she slowly drifted off to sleep and went to sleep with the rest of the chickens on time this time. And the firefly flew away. Inda woke up the next day right when the sun rose and along with the other chickens. She was able to eat at the same time with the other chickens. And she was able to take a break on time with the other chickens. And this time, she didn't mind being with all the loud and messy chickens in the coop. And she was even able to play on time with the other chickens and the insects and the leaves in the wind. And this time, she didn't miss a single activity with the other chickens. And Inda realized that while it's important to live her life with passion and enthusiasm for all the things she loved to do, it was also important to rest at the right time so that she would be able to be with her fellow chickens and enjoy the day with them rather than chasing the day and missing out on all the nice things with the others because she woke up late. It was going to be hard for her to go to sleep on time but she was willing to give it a try so she can enjoy her day with the other chickens. And the Ayam Simani lived happily ever after. The End The Ayam Simani is a rare chicken species that is native to Java, Indonesia. They have a gene that's dominant that causes hyperpigmentation. And this makes the chicken mostly black from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. This includes their beak, their feathers, even their internal organs. The Ayam Simani are intelligent birds that are really fast and muscular. The word Ayam in Indonesian means chicken, and Simani in Javanese means black throughout. The Ayam Simani's black color is a result of hyperpigmentation of the tissues, which is caused by a condition known as fibromelanosis. The Ayam Simani is not recognized by the American Poultry Association as a breed. 
The Ayam Samani is a medium-sized chicken and is strong, muscular, and faster than other chickens. Their beaks, tongues, combs, wattles, meat, organs, and bones are black or even dark gray. They have long wings and broad shoulders and strong legs. The Ayam Samani spends their day plucking at the ground, being alert and attentive. The Ayam Samani can live from six to eight years, and they can weigh from three to five and a half pounds. The Ayam Samani is not really found in the wild since most of the population lives on private farms in America and Europe. The Ayam Samani are omnivores and will peck at anything that's on the ground and can eat grains, seeds, vegetation, insects, grubs, fruit, and vegetables. They like to be free and roam around, and they will vocally protest when it's time to go into the chicken coop for the night. There are all kinds of predators for the Ayam Samani, like foxes, raccoons, skunks, coyotes, birds of prey, and snakes. There are about 3,500 Ayam Samanis in the world. The Ayam Samanis are known to be flighty with their long wings and are known to fly up and scatter around. Some owners also provide perches in their pens so they can use their wings and fly up to something when they're bored. Have you seen a real-life Ayam Samani before? If you have, where did you see it? If you want to write to us, ask your parent to email us at animalstoriesforkids at gmail.com and tell us what you think of our stories. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for listening to Animal Stories for Kids. If you like our stories, please give us a five-star rating, subscribe to our podcast, and share it with your friends and family. If you're listening on Spotify, you can support the podcast through listener support. Plus, check out exclusive show-related content and join the community at patreon.com slash animalstoriesforkids. Until next time, bye!